Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on Datasphere Overview Training with me Anubhav on anubhavtrainings.com. In the last session we talked about how to create a database table in SAP Datasphere. We discussed about creating a table and also showing the output preview of the data. In today's session we will took an introduction to the views, why we use views and why we it is important to create views in SAP Datasphere. We will talk about creating our first graphical view in today's class. So before we start, please like, share and subscribe this video. Do not forget to share this video with your fellow colleagues who are interested to join Datasphere and learn Datasphere. If you are looking forward for a full-fledged end-to-end Datasphere training, feel free to subscribe our Datasphere training on anubavtrainings.com in detail. So let's get started and talk about graphical views. Where do we create the view? So we create the view using view editor. So we have a view editor. So what is the view editor can is capable of doing? We can define a view on top of remote, replicated or local tables. We can define measure. and attributes for fact data. We can create multi-language text fields. Define join types, joins, associations, aggregations, unions, etc. We can rename columns for reporting purpose. Suppose in your table the sales order number is named as VBELN but when you report that column, when you display reporting of the data, perhaps it will not help you. Yes, you want to show the column name as sales order ID. That's more meaningful for the reporter who will report this data from the view. So in that case it's the advantage that we can rename the columns on the fly. It's a virtual table. The data will never be persisted permanently, but it's a virtual table. We can add filters to discard unnecessary data and improve reporting performance. We can project columns and also reduce volume of data transfer. Then next we can apply access control, create input parameters which can filter further the data. We can also decide view persistency. We can also view data at each node. At each node you can also see the data. So these are the benefits of creating the view. Let's go ahead and create two views. To graphical view one first I'll create a simple view with the one table which we created earlier so we can come here and we say new graphical view I will go to the view editor and I will use my first table which I created in today's class from Excel file sales order table yeah this was the one I created I drag and drop and you see sales order table I can now double click or go to detail and I can see here on the right side my view settings so this is my view name so let's say view pw sales order this is a good naming convention to choose now that's my business name so let's say view sales orders and this is my technical name pw sales orders i can change now I can choose the data type as fact which is very important. Analytical data set is deprecated. It will be removed soon from the system. We choose fact. We expose for consumption which means this view will be made available later point of time for any business layer to consume this view and build on top of this some models. Then we can come down. We can also choose here the measures. 
So right now you see there is an error coming. <clears throat> if you click here the error it says this is a fact type and it must have at least one measure. Remember the concept of measure and KPI? Yes. So we can come down and of course we have multiple measures to choose from. So I will choose gross amount, net amount and tax amount as my measures. As my measures. So I can manually drag and drop them on the measure section. So let's drag and drop like this. You can also go down and you see more option and here also you can mark it as a measure if you want. So you see change to measure. For a numeric column only it will be allowed. So we've got our measures and now see the error is gone. The view is ready. The view type is a fact view. Fantastic. Let us go ahead and now deploy the view. The view will be named as business name and then the technical name and click on save. Congratulations, your first view is ready. Right now it's not very complicated. It's just with a one single table. But of course we can, we will increase the complexity soon. We will learn how to create more complex views. Now if you come back to this note, you can preview the data by clicking this data viewer button to see the output of your view. Now just a small um, a small uh, note here to, to notice. Sometimes this data viewer doesn't work or it is very very slow. So you got to be patient here to view the data. Yeah. So you see this is the data of the view. You can export debug CSN. So you see this is a JSON it has created. You can also view the SQL code which was generated behind the scene. You see this was the SQL code. The select query which was generated behind the scene. All right. This view. So thank you so much for all of you for attending today's session on the topic of SAP Datasphere. As usual, please feel free to subscribe the complete training end to end on SAP Datasphere, SAP Analytics Cloud, SAP BTP, UI5 Fury or any other technical skill set which you would want to upgrade in this new world of cloud. So do not forget to visit www.anubavtrainings.com. Also shoot us an email on contact at anubavtrainings.com for any of the requirement regarding the technical training in the space of SAP. With that Anubav signing out. Once again thank you so much and I will see you in my next episode.